add the Austin Zoo to your list of summer activities. Because starting today, the zoo will reopen and inside a new friend. It's a white tiger named Zulema. But those interested in meeting Zulema, you're going to have to do so at a distance. Candy Rodriguez explains the steps zoo leaders are taking to ensure the visitors and the animals are safe. Zoo leaders say those who want to visit the zoo must wear a mask. They plan to enforce social distancing guidelines, and one of those guidelines includes keeping visitors and animals six feet apart. To do this, the zoo's director of animal care, Scott Chambers, says attendees will notice some orange fencing along the zoo's one-way path. Anywhere where you see an orange fence in place is because the fence got a little bit closer. Now you want to allow people to get close to them safely, but also so they can get up close and personal and see, you know, beautiful little things like this. Um, and, but obviously with this thing, you want to, we're just going to bump you off that little bit more until everything calms down. They say the orange fencing will ensure a safe distance is maintained. This is especially important because Chambers says that there are some animals who are more susceptible to COVID-19 than others, and that includes their newest animal, the white tiger, Zulema. So felines, particularly the big cats, uh, primates, and then a small group of Asian and African mammals called viverids, which are like binturongs, civets, and genets, that we also do have a few of those here. They've been found to be particularly susceptible. Changes also include additional hand washing stations, a new entrance, and they're asking those who want to attend to buy tickets online. I think a gentle, steady flow throughout the day would be better than, you know, just like 2,000 people at once. <laughs> For now, Chambers says the zoo's reptile house and petting corral are closed. They do not plan to allow folks in a confined space or touch and feed the animals at this time. Back to you.